in so many different ways. It's called the the pheasant, okay? And it is so regal. Yep. And so expensive looking, like it was handed down through your beautiful? royal lineage. It really is. The imperial, how perfect, a pheasant. Yeah, well, you know where this came from? This was um, a, a beautiful sculpture, a marble scu sculpture in the Vatican that I snapped a picture of because I, but it was, you know, huge and fabulous. And I thought, well, you know, that is just one of the prettiest things I've ever seen. So I decided to make a pin out of it. Mm. And and here it is. And it, it's the first, and it's really quite beautiful. You can see here, uh, for we girls that are love everything aviary, this is a wonderful pheasant that has colors of um, a fern green. And, of course, that beautiful uh, bright red, that wonderful Siam ruby red fuchsias and of course um, uh, topaz so a very very pretty combination of color and we're gonna see a, a, a still picture here look at that wonderful lotus flower at the base I noticed isn't that pretty I noticed and it looks like you have a Greek key design yep. also going along yes the the pheasant is uh, do you, is there symbolism associated with this bird I mean, you know so, I'm sure there is so regal. aren't they I, I right? love that they're just such beautiful 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 creatures so proud and they are they are and uh, you know so pretty on a coat there's mm -hmm. something about this this wonderful half circle that is really quite beautiful that the pheasant is sitting on standing on very pretty very beautiful on a coat beautiful on a strand perhaps you have um, a, 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 a ribbon that you want to make a necklace out of this with that's awesome or you know what one of our our ropes that perhaps might be in your jewelry box right now do we have, awesome do we have the um, master clasp in aubergine would that oh, work oh yes just a thought look at oh, this oh it's right here okay yep. of course Heidi has one right there at the ready <laughs> it's just a thought i don't know if it's going to work or not but i think it might so so if you love the different if you love the exotic and you love being that fashion you know jewelry diva where people yes. are, are looking at you going oh what do you have today you need yeah. to maintain that status okay it's not easy i understand that's right you know this it, is the way to do it it is okay, yeah, well the pin, a, a pin collector is someone that really uh, you know gets a great joy of of celebrating their style in pin form these are like little miniature artworks that um that really tells the person tell people about your personality mm -hmm. and uh, you know we were so lucky to be in that book that madeline albright mm -hmm. wrote um uh you know uh Madeleine Albright's the Secretary of State who wore always still wears to this day the most magnificent brooches How wonderful and it really tells a story she told the story she wore a snake pin when she met with Saddam Hussein <laughs> oh my god yeah so you know they really interesting they yes communicate. they do communicate they tell it tells a story about the girl who's wearing them and I think there's nothing like um, a, a beautiful beautiful a uh, pheasant, a bird of peace, and a bird that is just so elegant and beautiful to tell somebody who's meeting you for the first time.